Hey guys, Premarkanines here, and holy freaking shanks, we've got new Pokemon. So literally, right before I was about to start my next countdown, I decided to check Twitter. No surprise there, I'm on it 24-7. But I'm super glad that I did, because it just so happened to be the same exact second that Koro Koro leaked, showcasing two brand new Pokemon. Now, I'm not so sure on the pronunciation of these, but their respective names are Iwanko, a rock-type puppy, and Nikoala, the much-anticipated baby koala bear. Now, I'm not gonna get too comfortable with these names, as they're probably not their English ones, but since that's all we have, right now, I'm just gonna roll with it. As I said before, my favorite thing to do when a new Pokemon is released is to speculate what the shiny will look like, so that's what we're doing today. I've made three for each, the first being one that I think they'll do and I'm not so excited about, the next one is one I'd be okay with, and the last is what I would love to see. Now special thanks goes to Deviant artist Alex Allen for this amazing artwork because there aren't official artwork out for these guys yet, so I couldn't recolor them without these. Their links will be in the description, so go check them out. Let's get into it. First up, Nikoala. Here's what I don't want. As we've seen before with Pokemon like Chansey and Clefable, it's a common theme for certain shinies to barely change their base color and add on a less than flattering shade of green. I have no idea why this is a thing, but it is. Its fur gets a touch darker and the drum gets a little saturated, but aside from the ears, overall nothing too drastic changes. Now I know this isn't the worst shiny in the decks, but it's a little too boring for my taste. Now this one I ended up liking a lot more than I thought I would. For some reason when I saw this Pokemon, I immediately thought purple for its shiny form. I don't know why, it seemed a little crazy at first, but then I remembered that this is actually happened before. Glamio and Perugly both make this same change from gray, so it wouldn't be that far-fetched to think that Game Freak would do this again. I made the ears pink because it matches well, and I made the drum a little duller just so that the purple would stand out more. Like it or not, one thing's for sure. With a shiny like this, there's no way you could miss it. Now this is a shiny I would love to see. It's noticeably different, but it looks like these could actually be its original colors. The fur turns beige, the drum is now white, and its ears become blue, which is personally my favorite color for a shiny. Overall, I think the reason I like this shiny so much is because even though the changes are drastic, it still maintains a clean look, which is a super hard thing for a shiny to do. I don't know about you guys, but I love it. Next up, Iwanko the Pup. Here's the shiny I expect. If these colors look familiar, that's probably because this is basically a ripoff of the shiny forms in the Mighty Yana line. But that's mainly because I would not be surprised if this actually happened. For some reason, gold shinies seem to pop up left and right when it comes to rock types, and I doubt that this little guy is going to be any exception. I don't actually think that these colors look bad, but the reason that gold shinies are so unappealing is that they're just so washed up and overdone. Now, this is a shiny I wouldn't mind seeing. There wasn't really any inspiration behind this shiny other than the fact that I just thought that these colors looked good together. Arguably, one of the best things about a shiny is the contrast, and there's no denying the contrast here. The cream on its tail does a really good job of balancing out the darker purple, and the pinks on its fur and eyes are just really easy to look at. Overall, I'd actually be super happy with this. And last but not least, here's the one I wanna see. Now this is my kind of shiny. For this one, we have arguably two of the best shiny colors, white and blue, coming together to create one amazing look. You can't deny how much this thing stands out. If I were playing through Sun and Moon and saw this thing sparkle, I don't even think I'd be able to say holy shinks. I'd end up actually cursing. That's how awesome it is. Needless to say, with a shiny like this, this little guy would no doubt make my top 10 shiny Pokemon list. There's not much else to say about it other than Game Freak, please do this. All right guys, that's gonna do it for this edition of my videos. I hope you enjoyed these shiny speculations. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up and also leave what you guys think the shinies will be in the comments. Do you think that they'll be these? Do you think it'll be something completely different? Do you think that my shinies are trash? Let me know. Also, huge thank you for helping me reach 30,000 subscribers. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. I could not do it without you. Anyways, a new video will be coming soon, but until next time, this is the Supreme Arcanine signing out. I will see you guys later.